Hi! In this video, you will learn about the Progress Target Text Mesh Pro, how it works and how to use it. Let's go! If you haven't watched the Progress Target Text video, I suggest you do that now because it's almost 99% the same as this one, but we use a Text Mesh Pro component unlike that one. And I'm gonna go really quick through this because it's quite easy. The Progress Target Text Mesh Pro updates the text value of a Text Mesh Pro component. So uh, let's create a Text Mesh Pro component. And here I'll call it Progress Text because we're updating the, we're showing a value from a progressor. So let's add a component, Progress Target Text Mesh Pro. It automatically de detects this, um, this script and references it. And it updates the target variable progress. And let's use the multiplier and you'll see in a second why I did that. I'm gonna make this a bit bigger, let's say like so. And uh, let's center the text. Let's make it a bit bigger. And now we need a progressor. Let's create one. So let's create one here, doozy progress progressor, because the progress target is meant for the progressor. Let's add a progress target text, this text, and believe it or not, this works. That's it. Let's say minimum value minus 100, maximum value 250. So we can go from a minus to a maximum value and have the progress where exactly we are on that bar. Let's say I do not want to see the progress value, but I want to see the value itself. So how do I do that? Well, you just come back here and you disable multiplier, disable whole numbers and select value. And of course, remove this percentage because it's useless in this, uh, in this situation. And now check it out. It shows you the value. Okay, I want to see whole numbers because I do not like it the way it looks. Just uh, see whole numbers and let's update it. Yeah, that's it. Now you may be wondering, okay, why do I need this? Well, if you have a health bar or an energy bar or whatever bar, or you want to show a progress of something, something loading, a spell, a, I don't know, you can do it with uh, this component and this will show you the number. And I'm going to create a very quickly a progress bar, uh, round one, and we will add this and see the visibility of this view. This is very easy. So let's create an empty game object and I'll just say progress circle. Let's make it uh, 512 by 512. Let's delete everything. So we can see only one, uh, one thing at a time. Let's add a background. So this will be my background. And let's set it to fill this parent. And let's set a circle. So this is my background. Let's make it black. Let's duplicate this and we'll call it fill. And let's set this to filled. And now let's set it a color. Let's say a uh, I don't know, a bluish color, something like that. So now this loads like this. Let's also add a progress target image. If you haven't watched that video, you can do that and understand what I'm doing here. And now let's add a percentage for this. So UI, Text Mesh Pro, let's set it to fill its parent, center, center, and let's make it a bit bigger. And let's add a progress target text mesh pro, use multiplier. And now all we need is a progressor. And in just a few clicks, I created my custom. Let's add the fill. Let's add the text and done. And now let's see it in, uh, in action. Let's select uh, this UI view and let's use this as the progressor. Also update on height. And that's it. Now this will work. There you go. Let's uh, maximize. So when we hide this, this will go to zero. And let's show it. 
Note that this is happening as a, by taking into account the animation duration. So what do I mean by that? Well, uh, let me show you. Let's set the animation for five seconds, the show animation, and let's set the hide animation for um, two seconds. And let's maximize. So two seconds for hide, five seconds to show. So this was two seconds. And let's go for for five seconds. Yeah. And now this can be this can be a health bar or whatever you need it to be. Of course, uh, if you do not want to show the progress, again, you can show the value. So let's say show me the value. Do not use a multiplier. I don't care about this. And I'm gonna leave whole numbers. And let's see the values is, is between zero and one. Let's say between zero and 100. So yeah, maybe zero and 350. Let's say it's an energy from zero to 50, 350. So let's press play. And now we'll see the value. Yeah. So 350. You want to change the fill mode? Sure. Let's do it like that. Let's go with. Uh, Vertical, so it's something like that. It's fill. Check it out. Yeah. And that's it. That's how this, the progress target text mesh pro works. It updates. Let's say I want to say a value. And now you see the value and the number if you want to add that value zero and 350. Or maybe let's say uh, not value energy. Yeah. So like that. Yeah. HP. And uh, let's also change this to, I don't know, a red, maybe. Yeah, there you go. Okay, that's it for Progress Target Text Mesh Pro. Thank you.